It's the 7th of February, 2017, and Nathan Douglas Day is still in bed at 10 o'clock. He was up late last night playing board games and warrior wear, and then knitting until 2 in the morning. But it's okay, because he's not working today, so he can spend all day in bed if he wants. Oops, I spoke too soon. Nathan gets a call from Karen, and it looks like he'll be working after all. Nathan gets up, puts on his uniform, chooses some socks, puts on his shoes, and walks into the bathroom. He styles his face in the normal way, because he doesn't have time to be creative. And he leaves for work. Nathan works for four hours, and it was a typical day, except that he splashed glass cleaner all over himself in the last hour. Nathan returns home and gets straight into the bathroom to wash the glass cleaner out of his hair and beard. He has a shower and dries himself and then realizes he hasn't eaten anything yet today. So he goes into the kitchen. Nathan takes out some carrots, cuts them up and then gets some dip from the fridge and rips biscuits from the pantry. Nathan sits in the lounge room to eat with Joel who is watching Naruto on the TV and writing up board game stuff on a laptop. He then eats the breakfast. Once Nathan is finished eating, he heads into his room to see what he can do about the wardrobe situation. Nathan suits up, piled up on the ground, taking up space, so he moves into his bed, and then looks inside the wardrobe for what he can do to fix it. Speaking of suits, and seeing as it is Tuesday, Nathan solves the problem for the light brown suit by hanging it on his body. Once dressed, he puts on his shoes and walks down to Sheehan's hardware with the old hanging rod. He buys some dowel of the same thickness. So that piece there is $4.15. Then walks home to work out how to install it. It's far too long. So Nathan takes it outside to cut it to the same length as the old one. Once it's the right length, he tries to force it in, but it won't go. So Nathan decides that he'll have to cut a path to the hole to get it in. Once the channel is cut, he hammers it in and then uses a screw to hold it there. Once that's all fixed, kind of, he has a can of lemonade. And then it's time to get ready for tennis. Nathan gets changed, combs and plaits his beard, puts on his bandana, and then leaves for tennis. The game doesn't last long, and Nathan's team won quite easily in straight sets. After tennis, it's still Tuesday, and Nathan always does his shopping on Tuesdays, so he heads to Coles. Nathan buys everything he thinks he needs, and has a good chat with Amy and Ben. It's Ben's last week working at Coles for at least the next six months because he's going off and being a teacher or something. So they huddle in and get it on film. After the shopping, Nathan returns home and puts some garlic bread in the oven because a healthy dinner is a good dinner. Joel is trying to make a bottle opener with his weird plasticky moldy stuff and Nathan films that while he waits. Then it's done. So he heads straight for his armchair and eats the garlic bread and watches the next episode of The Ascent of Man.
He has a glass of wine, and then Joel finally makes a bottle open design that works. Joel doesn't want the beer though, so Nathan drinks it for him. After the next episode of The Ascent of Man, it's well past midnight, so Nathan gets into bed and turns the lights off. Good night, Nathan Douglas Day. Dip from the fridge and Ritz bitch. <laughs>